And I don't know where you've been, but you're going to respect this courtroom. My life has proven that it's not about where you come from, it's about where you're going. From a jailed youth who had my record expunged to becoming the youngest judge elected. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. In just 15 years. Ma'am, let me know when you want to go to rehab. Otherwise, I think you're a crackhead. Absolutely not. My goal is to inspire others to overcome their obstacles. You don't need him and his little raggedy roommate. Thank you. All while having a little fun on Mathis Court. You look like you're ready to lie right the first <laughs> word out your mouth. <laughs> this is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Kevin Donovan is suing Brian Norris in the amount of $2,700. Mr. Donovan claims water from his neighbor's leaky fountain damaged his property and says he had to pay for the repairs when Mr. Norris dragged his feet. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may be seated. Both litigants have been sworn in. All right. State your name, sir. Your Honor, my name is Kevin Donovan. Sir? I'm Brian Norris. All right, and sir, you're suing the defendant for $2,700 for damages caused to your backyard regarding repairs to the fountain? That is correct, sir. Start with you. Give me some background on your friendship or lack thereof of your neighbor. All right, well, so we've been adjoining neighbors for about five years now since uh, Brian moved in. I've lived there about 10 years longer than that. And uh, we have a shared fence in the backyard. And he put in a new fountain, which is great, right? I'm happy to have a new fountain in the yard, makes nice water sounds at night. But when he put it in, it started to leak. That leak created a pond, basically, in my backyard, which damaged both the fence that we share and my patio. So I told him this had happened. To his credit, he said he was going to How'd you all get along prior to this, though? That's what I want to know. Pretty OK. I mean, we used to get together and watch okay. the trailblazers and you know, hang out. And, and I would like to get along Is again. Is all this true? I mean, you give me some background. It sounds like he's just jealous of your house. He, he's very jealous of my house. We, when we were, sound like. I can tell. I, I can read yeah, it. I can I mean, read people. Could, yeah, Your Honor, you could see it. So you'd come over, like, when we were watching the Trailblazers, and you make little comments and stuff like that. But there was a lot of, like, shady stuff that he was doing. And I wanted this. Talk to him. What happened was um, we had this this fence that was here. If let me see it, please, Amir. So that that was the old fence, and you know it was in really nice condition. And he, when I mentioned the shady, let's part, talk about you and his relationship and him being jealous yes. of you. You know, I like to get messy. Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't know where I this like jealousy to get messy. Who from got, your whose house is the nicest? I mean, I, I feel like my house is very, not, like, a lot nicer, and that's why he wanted to upgrade. A lot stick nicer. Me to the not just nicer. Yes. Not just somewhat nicer. A lot nicer than yours. Your Honor, preferences what may What you living vary. in? The shack? I should hope not. What if, did you, what's, why Your is Honor, the man saying this? Your Honor, if you want to come this? on over, we could talk about it on the patio. No, I want to know now. It is a perfectly acceptable house, otherwise I wouldn't live in it, Is Your his Honor. a lot nicer than yours? I would say it is nicer. Okay. I wouldn't say the fountain's particularly nice, given that it's leaking into my backyard, Good but other point. than that. Good point. All right? this is nice, sir. Is uh, yours leaking anywhere? I don't have a fountain. I'd rather Honor. have a house that doesn't leak than a great house that leaks. I'm with you. I had an accidental koi pond that I didn't pay for and didn't want, which is why I'm suing. <laughs> because of the fountain. The That's right. right. And look, this is all that happened. I had to replace the fence because the water damage was going to cause it to rot. I don't want to get termites. When you complained to him, what did he say? He said he would take care of it. And because we're friends, I didn't think anything more of it. And a couple weeks went by, and water continued to intrude under the fence. And he's, I don't want to put words in his mouth. He has talked about how he's going to take all sorts of steps to do it. And he got the runaround from the company, and that's fine, right? But the point is, in the meantime, I'm slowly growing the perfect mosquito pool in the backyard, yes. and I can't have that. That's all I've been thinking of since you've talked about this. I was about to start itching because oh, yeah. well, you know I know how we had to have a lot of mosquitoes. Well, and you guys, I mean, we already have it wet, so you can imagine any additional rain once you've already saturated yeah. the ground. It started to tilt the ground, so my concrete pad broke. So I replaced it with tile that are individually laid, so that way the next time they're settling. Why did I'm, you start replacing it? He said he would. Your Honor, as we said, right, you were saying earlier about my shack. How long would you wait? Well, tell me how long you had to wait I before you began. I waited a few weeks. Okay. And had they began at all? No. So for three weeks straight, they never began any of the repairs? For several weeks, there no nothing had been repaired. What did he agree to do? What he said, and, and right, I'm just saying, 
I'll take care of it. He did not get into okay. specifics at that time. And so, what did you assume that meant? Well, that, that first, obviously, he would stop the leaking from the fountain. I think mm -hmm. that's the most obvious one. Did that stop? How soon did, did that stop? It did not stop for several weeks. Okay, there you go. And so in the interim, I decided to take steps, right? And, because it was damaging your property by that time. And to replace it with things that would be, that even as it wasn't damaged, were you telling him these be... things? Were you telling him you were making these repairs to your property? Coming up on Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. He has been at these gatherings. Yeah, There's no three in the morning with the women slinking out with the heels unless he's talking about his sister-in-law. Uh, I don't you're know. You're getting a, his sister-in-law? And later. All right, you ready to speak, ma'am? No. Nope. Sure, if All anyone right. will let me speak, I will speak. I keep asking I, this you, is, you won't. This is a you waste keep... of my time, sir. This is a complete waste of my time. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6870. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mathis Court is back with the case of Kevin Donovan, who is suing Brian Norris for property damage. Okay, so you took it upon yourself to do these things, and without him giving him the opportunity to know that you were doing it so that he could say, stop, I'll do it. Instead, you just went and did it on your own. We know he had an obligation to make the repair regarding the uh, fountain. And you say it took him several weeks to get started on that. Mm -hmm. Understandable. That's too long, and you have some damages as a result. However, anything beyond repairing the fountain, and you expect it, you are to ask. He take care of it. Okay, gonna take care of it. At some point during those several weeks, it should down on you. What did he mean by take care of it? Is he gonna reimburse me for taking care of these repairs of the, the damage to my property that was caused by his fountain? Mm -hmm. You needed clarity on that before you go spending more money. Mm -hmm. I could see how I should have communicated with him, but again, I thought we had an understanding from, from living together. I told him about how this water would damage our fence, which we share, and also damage my backyard patio, which we sit on together. So I reasonably inferred from that that when I said take care of it, that we didn't just mean we would get the fountain to stop, but I would have to continue I mean, to have a swamp in the backyard. You caused the water problem. Excuse me? Yes. I mean, first of all, we live in Portland and it rains. As the great Millie Vanilli said, blame it on the rain. So there was a lot of rain that was coming pouring uh -oh. down. Millie Vanilli, wasn't that the fake ones? Yes. The fake singers? Exactly. Thank That's you, like your story Your is fake. Thank you. Right, just like your fake story. Oh, yeah. And first of all, this guy's very shady. He would have all these crazy parties till three in the morning. I think when his wife is out of town, we saw this woman slinking out, holding a, uh, her heels or something. And you're out of, you're house, out of money. He brought the woman to his house. And it, it did the shack. Yeah. And he's out, I think he's out of money. He, stuck he won't even bill. give you the dignity of calling up a house. I call it a house. He say, Shaq, he correct me. So you had women coming in and out of your no, home your, your wife I don't left? know where this is coming from, Your Honor. Uh, I have had gatherings. He has been at these gatherings. Yeah, There's no three in the morning with the women slinking out with the heels unless he's talking about his sister-in-law. Uh, I don't you're know. You're getting a, his sister-in-law? That's on She's a very interesting. Oh, please. Hold on. She's a very interesting. Yes, sir. Well, you won't be after your wife sees this. She talking about you been with the man's sister. -in -law. I didn't say I was with her. You I just said, she said could... you were with the man's sister. And wait, you ain't seen no. no woman coming out in our house with slinging that unless he's talking about his sister in law. <laughs> yes, I'm saying his sister in law is yeah. the one who was a little bit too sir, tipsy after move, the playoffs. You need to move away from that conversation about you and what you were doing with his sister in law while your wife was out of town. My wife was not good I optics. Don't this isn't something you want to keep yeah. talking about. That's I promise you. That's disrespectful. Because I'm going to cut through it, sir. If you're lying, by the end of this case, your wife is going to leave you. Your because Honor. I will have been able to cut through all of the game that you're about to give me. I'm trained to do this. That's what lawyers are trained to do. Cross-examine until they catch the lie. Right. Your Honor. Go ahead. I just do not see what parties, which which the defendant has been to at my house are germane to his fountain leaking underneath our shared fence and damaging my patio and our fence. 
I do not see how that Character. is in any way, shape, form, well, or manner. Well, let me tell you. I'm the lawyer. I'm okay. the judge. I'll tell you how it does, shape and form. Because some of that damage you're referring to could come from your parties with his sister-in-law. <laughs> That's how yes. it's Jermaine. That's how. Okay, counselor? So, it very well could be some of that damage he had repaired was from some of these gatherings, huh? Absolutely. And All the, right. And if look at the, this invoice um, from Let's this place. Let's take a look at me, please. Backyard Living is one of his friends. I love it when they try our to play friends. lawyer with me. <laughs> no, our friends. Your he friend. knows they to I don't with me. know him that well. That's he your knows best you friend. Have Oh, I'm sorry. You come over to a guy's Tile. house and you need his case over there. You don't marble know. slabs. You want marble. And he made this fence. It doesn't even look good at all. Look at this. This tall white fence. It's, it's, it's a rustic. Oh, here's the Do you have pictures, well. sir, of the marble oh, the damage? Order. Yeah. Of the, of the damage? Yes, right? to the marble. I don't, Your Honor. Okay, because I don't see the connection. No. Remember, I, I don't understand what the connection is to the marble mm -hmm. from the fountain in your house. And la da. So, so it, unless you got proof, unless you got evidence. You have any evidence? He got his. He has all the pictures. He has the invoice. What you got? I'm sorry, Your Honor. What I do just you have? have the invoice. You have nothing? You're yes, coming sir. here with zero evidence? Unfortunately. Talking big yes. and then talking law to me? Quoting the law? And have zero evidence? You forgot that part of lawyering? That's Apparently why when people so, want a lawyer, Honor. they need to go to law school before they start quoting the law as irrelevant and no evidence has attached to whether his fountain has anything to do with my party, sir. That's irrelevant to the case and such and such and such. No, it's very relevant and it has caused you to lose your case. Have a good day. Your claim is dismissed. You have zero evidence on, by your own admission. He has a file full of evidence that has successfully defended him from your lawsuit. Bye-bye, counselor. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been dismissed. I can't believe you uh, disparaged uh, my sister-in-law like that. Hey, so, if she uh, could walk straight after the playoffs. Yeah, this way. Oh, boy. Coming up. The inner city is not the only place where these kids bring weapons. How old is the child? <laughs> 15. She 15. was 15. She's yeah, 16 she bringing now. knives to school at 15 at a suburban upscale school. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Mark Edwards is suing Natasha Glotness in the amount of $17,048. Mr. Edwards claims the defendant's son persuaded his daughter to sell knives at school and says when the knives were discovered, she was expelled. State your name? Mark Edwards, Your Honor. Ma'am? Natasha Glotness. All right, and we're here today, sir. You are suing Ms. Glottons for $17,048 because your daughter was expelled after her son gave your daughter knives in which she took to school. That's what we're here for? That's correct. All right, you give me some background on you all. I met Natasha a year ago. We uh, were at a football game at our children's school. Uh, we're both uh, widow and widower, and we hit it off, and it was going very well for quite some time. Where was the school? What city? Was it a suburb, upscale, in middle Houston, class? In Houston, Texas, sir. In Houston, All Texas. Right, see, son, I told you, y'all got stereotypes. The inner city is not the only place where these kids bring weapons. How old is the child? <laughs> 15. She 15. was 15. She's yeah, 16 she bring now. Yeah, she bringing knives to school at 15 at a suburban, upscale school. Try to put everything on the inner city kids. Yeah. Go ahead. So uh, everything was going fine in the relationship. Uh, some of her parenting skills were uh, questionable and... How so? Well, she's very busy with her work, sir, and which is understandable. What type of work? Uh, she's running a multi-level marketing company. And uh, I understand she has to support her, her son and herself. Uh, however, she's not around a lot. She's very focused on the work. So I feel that her disciplinary skills have been a little bit... Um, Lacking. Were you all living together? No, sir. Okay. Coming up. Of what the, did happen, though, with the child? She was expelled, sir. There is a police report, but they did not press charges. What did she bring them to school for? She thought she could sell them. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. 
Mathis Court is back with the case of Mark Edwards, who is suing Natasha Glotness for negligence. So uh, both of our children were close. They knew each other before we met, actually. Uh, my daughter's a cheerleader, and he was in the school band. Um, and then when he decided it was a good idea to ask my daughter to, or suggest to my daughter that she bring knives to school to sell them. Were you all still them. together at that time? Yes, we were, sir. Okay, and when did you learn of this? I learned of it when I received this email from the school. Okay, we'll get to that shortly. Let me allow her to give her background and her side. Ma'am? Okay, let's get back to you. <laughs> what do you have? You say you have something. So what? you see the influence she has. She don't have no influence. She don't say nothing. You saw what she did, gave her a chance, and she said, nobody going through all that. Come now, what do mom. you have you say you wanted to bring? Uh, I do have evidence that uh, of What the, did happen, though, with the child? She was expelled, sir. There is a police report, but they did not press charges. What did she bring them to school for? She thought she could sell them. It's a knife set for the kitchen. You sound like you, that's all right. So not at all, 15, not when I You sound out. like the only difference is she brought them to school. Otherwise, you know, there wasn't nothing wrong with her going well, we door to a... door. She can go door to door with knives, knocking on the door. Hey, do you want to start selling knives for me? You get 15%. All right, you ready to speak, ma'am? Nope. Sure, if anyone right. will let me speak, I will speak. I keep asking I, this you, is, you won't. This is a you waste keep... of my time, sir. This is a complete waste of my time, okay? I'm a single parent. I work very hard for my son. He does very well. Okay, thank you. And tell me about the claim. How will Judge Mathis rule? Find out when Mathis Court returns. You're watching Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. This is Mathis Court with Judge Mathis. Was her son in the business? Her son is actually okay, working so for her. so she has her son. How old is the son? <laughs> he is now 18. He was 17 when this took place. All right. So she has a teenager selling knives. Correct. Got it. Sir, you have evidence you wanted to present? I do, sir. So we have our payment. The police report is in there as well, sir, as well as emails police. from the school. Police? How did the police get involved? Tell me what happened there. Because... There. She brought knives to school, right. and it is they illegal. They called the police. Exactly. So they did a thorough investigation, but they did not press charges at that time. It is clearly written in the bylaws that if you bring any type of a weapon to the school, that you don't have to tell about no bylaws. With this environment in our country, with folks shooting up the school, correct, sir. You bring a weapon to the school. Yes, you're supposed to go to jail these days. Yeah, that's how they do in the inner city. Yes, sir. That's what they did me. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Ma'am, why shouldn't you be responsible for this? Because I, I did not direct my son. I did not direct did her. Did it work for you? Okay. Yes. She won't answer my questions. Judgment for the plaintiff. You work, he worked for you, so you're therefore responsible. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. All rise. Judge Mathis has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $17,048. Justice has been done, my friend. This is a waste of my time. <sighs> a waste of your time? You don't even pay attention to your son very much. Hey, man. I pay more attention to your daughter. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.